Yeah, so, you know, when I first learned about the earthquake, you know, it just made me incredibly sad, right? And, you know, our first reaction is we have to do everything we can to help out. And, you know, since then we've been thinking about what are the ways that Facebook and our community can pull together to do uh, the most that we, that we can. Now, the biggest thing, and I think the most important, is this program that we run called Safety Check. And what it basically is, is it lets people, whenever there's a disaster, an earthquake, hurricane, uh, attack, <clears throat> tell their friends that they're safe. Right? And it notifies them, it sends a notification. And you know, I think that this is so important because when you're in a disaster, or when, when someone you love is in a disaster, you know, all you wanna know is that they're safe, right? Now, the safety check that, that we ran in the last week uh, because of the community here in Italy, uh, was one of the most effective that we've ever seen across the world. And what, what that means is that of the people who are in the, the region uh, that was affected by the earthquake, of the people who are on Facebook or use Facebook, almost half of them use Safety Check to mark themselves as safe, and that sent notifications reassuring their family that they were okay to more than 15 million people around the world. So that's a pretty important tool in times like this. But now, we also wanted to do more. So we, we started working with the Red Cross in Italy, and we gave them half a million euros uh, in ad credits and sat down with them to help them use the Facebook platform to help get whatever they needed from our community. Right? So whether that's uh, supplies, volunteers, uh, donations for blood, whatever they need. Right? Because what, what I think we all know is that you know, when, when a disaster like this happens, you know, there's a lot of media attention for a short period of time, and you know, people talk about it, but then you know, the real pain and the real rebuilding happens over a long period of time. Right? So you want to empower good organizations like the Red Cross, who can stay focused on this for much longer than the cameras are gonna be uh, focusing on, on what's going on here. So that's what, what we're trying to, to do here. Um, you know, the third thing that I'm pretty proud of when I see is you know, people who are part of the community here in Italy uh, using the tools to, to rally, right, and, and support the community overall. So one story that, that particularly touched me was there was a restaurant uh, that posted on their Facebook page that for every uh, dish of, I, I hope I don't mispronounce this, I'm a Trishiana. Um, how are we doing? All right, good, thank you. Um, that they serve, they're gonna set aside one euro to go to the disaster relief effort. And they used Facebook to not only say that they were doing this, but encourage other restaurants around the country to participate as well. And so far, 700 different restaurants have signed up to do this pledge as well. And you know, that's just an awesome example of this community coming together to help you know, other people in, in Italy and all over the world, wherever you are, and you know, that's the kind of thing that I feel like we can uniquely do and we have a responsibility to do and we want to do to make sure that, that, that we can help the folks who are, who are here as much as possible. We...